Alright, hey, what's up? Um, it's gonna be an overview. My girlfriend is, um, she's out mowing the lawn right now. I, uh, ran over a few of her flowers that she had just planted last weekend, and, uh, I have been deemed idiot, so I'm in here modeling while she's outside, uh, sweating. Genius or savant, I don't know. But, um, anyway. This is the A-Wing toy. To I'm just going to call it a toy scale because it is. It's a toy. Um, anyway, uh, it's already primed out. And I've already started here to uh, start sending out all of these raised panel lines or whatever these little things are supposed to be. But anyway, um, whoever those lines are, I'm going to rescribe the lines and I'm going to drill each of those rivet holes back in. And, um, as I stated before, oh, I forgot the cockpit part, but that's going to get rehashed, but plenty of room for lighting, uh, even comes with a, a battery pack holder area right here that can open as such, you can drop a couple of AA batteries in there, and there's the little spot right there for the switch. So, again, I'm going to be able to run around the house, scaring the cats. As you can see now, I mean, it, this finish is virtually cat hair free so far. But uh, I'm sure that's going to change uh, as the project goes along. It's going to be a lit, a lidded. This is going to be a lit project, and uh, I'm going to put a couple of LEDs right there. For the engines, got to drill out the holes. Um, I'm sure the first toy, or there was a toy here that had lights in it at some point, so I'm sure it's going to be really nice and easy. Uh, cockpit is going to get some lights, and I left it over on the other workbench. Uh, but um, I spent eight bucks to get this guy, and I'll tell you right now, he's going to get a repaint job just to eliminate this plastic look on his clothing and uh, if I have to I'm just going to recreate the decals that go I don't know if you can see it on this uh, there's a decal right there on the shoulder and the helmet is riddled with decals I'm going to change the color of this helmet I'm also going to re try to recreate the decals as best I can uh, if not I'm just going to recreate some stripes and vertical lines and see how those look on the uh, the helmet when I'm done but uh, re slight repaint, probably just to mat out the clothes and uh, bring out some highlights and lowlights uh, and to totally redo that face. In fact, I may end up doing a polymer face that's just going to pop in right there because I don't know how bad this looks, but I'm sure that tiny little face in this big helmet is not the way to go if I want to keep it looking good. So I may just make a little nose mouth area and just stick it right there and uh, paint out the uh, the helmet the way I want I think I'm losing focus because this camera is a piece of crap this camera was state-of-the-art back in 1992 so uh, anyway I'm digressing about my equipment but anyway this is the this was the overview for the a-wing uh, Gonna, I don't know what color I'm going to do. I know I'm not going to do blue since I saw uh, Model Man Tom do his that way. So, um, I don't know. We'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with this. I've got less than two weeks to finish this one up. And I've got a Defiant that, uh, that I've got following up right behind that one. So, uh, anyway, I'll talk to you all later. Peace out. Later.